Glory to God, I want to press you good with Bible. That's right. Listen at this. Titus chapter 1, and we'll start at verse 1. All right. Paul, a servant of God. Paul, a servant of God. And an apostle of Jesus Christ. That's me. Huh. Amen. Amen. I'm an, an apostle, apostle of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm an apostle. That's it. Made by, hallelujah, made by hands of heaven. That's right. God made me. Spoke to me many years ago and said, I have a hallelujah, I have appeared unto thee this day to make thee a minister. I'm a witness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I wasn't voted in. I wasn't elected in. That's right. I was made a preacher. That's right. Ain't someone died and I took over their organization? No. Oh, no. Qualifications, you I want you to listen at this, Amen. preachers. Amen. The old time bishops used to call false prophets would be <laughs> jack legs. Yeah. All right. Paul, a servant of God. And I want this to be good if I got any visiting ministers here. Yeah. Because you are just another product of your bishop. Right. So a lot of you ministers, you didn't know no better. No. You don't know no better. You don't follow some old fraud. And a lot of you following a preacher because he's your relative. Right. He's your uncle. He's your father. He's your brother-in-law. Right. Spirit is thick of them blood. Amen. This ain't no family church. This is God's church. You preachers that feel as though that uh, you got to groom your son to be the next in charge. God's church things don't work like that. Amen. Sometime a preacher died, and then someone just get up and take over. And you can tell the one that take over, don't, and God didn't make them. Because when God make you, God makes you a builder and a teacher. Yeah. If I die, and if God don't raise up somebody after me, everything will fall apart. Amen. Because God got to give you the same vision that he gave me. That's right. He got to do it. Got to do it. When Moses died before Mo, look at what God told Joshua. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. That's right. When Moses died, the journey didn't change. Joshua kept pressing towards Canaan. Hallelujah. He kept pressing towards Canaan. If a man of God died and another man come behind him and yet take the church off route, that man is a false prophet. Amen. Glory to God. He got to stay on route. He got to stay on the journey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you getting this? Amen. What he said? Paul, a servant of God. This is the first chapter of the book of Titus. Titus chapter 1 and verse 1. This is the qualifications of an elder. Mm -hmm. Paul, a servant of God. Paul, a servant of God. And an apostle of Jesus Christ. An apostle is God called, God sent, God anointed, God instructed, God made. That's it. God authorized. Mm -hmm. He have authority from authority to represent authority. That's right. He's very analytical and his divine ability to break down scriptures, yeah. able to break down hard scriptures yeah. by the moving and the ability of the Holy One. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What is that? Paul, an apostle of Paul, Jesus Christ. an apostle of Jesus Christ. According to the faith of God's elect. According to the faith of God's elect. And the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. When you acknowledge the truth, what is it? Which is after godliness. Anyone that acknowledges the truth, you're after godliness. That's right. Even if it hurts you. Yeah. Acknowledge it anyway. That's it. All right, son. In hope of eternal life. Which God that cannot lie. Promised before the world began. Now how is God getting his word over? But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. How is God getting his word over? Through preaching. Viewers, and you better hear, that's why you can't find nothing on the internet, on radio, or on television. Right. Nothing. But a bunch of pulpit fakers and frauds and money lovers. That's right. These preachers are some of the biggest drug dealers in the world. Yeah. If li listen, lie is like a drug. Yeah. And brother, them fellas are selling lies and people are flocking to it. Amen. They don't care about your soul. Amen. Look at the danger of a false prophet. You trust them. You work faithful. Yeah. 
help build churches and community centers and schools. You are trusting this fellow with your soul. Oh, yeah. Teaching does two things. It either will get you to God now and in eternity, or it will send you to our everlasting hell. That's right. Viewer, how much do you trust your preacher? Amen. And what he's telling you. How much do you trust your preacher and what he's teaching? Amen. You know what make a false prophet bamboozle the people so well? Because the people are ignorant of the Bible themselves. That's right. And when you don't know the Bible, that empowers the devil's preacher to trick you, con you, lie to you. Amen. Anytime a man will have grown people out on somebody's lawn, eating grass, my Lord, my like Lord. cows and sheep. My Lord. And convince them it's the will of God. My Lord. I heard of a case in the 1970s where a false prophet in South Philadelphia, I was told this, I don't know, dropped his clothes in the pulpit and spilt his feces my Lord, my Lord. and then threw it at the congregation. Lord, and people sit right there. Mm. My Lord. My Lord. And people wonder why I'm so hard. Amen. A false prophet is dangerous. Amen. Amen. Look at God himself. War broke out in heaven mm -hmm. because Satan brought something in there, right. some information that contradict God. That's right. Say so he said, I will be like the most high. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, no. God said, who is my equal? That's right. Say it's the Holy One. Amen. Say so he said, I will exalt myself above the stars. God said, no, you won't. Oh, no. Who is my equal? Right. Say it's the Holy One. Okay. War broke out in heaven. Mm -hmm. Thank God the devil got put out. Yes. And when he got put out and came to the earth, the apostles saw the effect of it and said, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Viewers, you may not like what I'm saying, but I'm telling you the truth. Some of you that's in some of these churches, some of your old bishops died. And before he died, it may have been a reasonable amount of discipline and strictness. Look at the devil that's in the pulpit now. Amen. Look at the amount of faggots in the pulpits of your churches. Amen. Why isn't that 99% of many of you men in the so-called apostolic churches got more sugar than Dairy Queen? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. Feminine active men, apostolic, amen. apostolic bishop. Let the church say amen. Lord. Let the church say amen again. Hallelujah. Lord, my Lord. They, they all got that bicycle move. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Am I right? Apostolic. apostolic. Churches of our Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. Right. Look at the pulpits. Amen. Look at the pulpits of 99% of all the churches that got that name. Amen. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. Look at the poor pits around the world. Look at the sugar. Look at the maple syrup. Amen. Look at the sugar cane. Amen. You hate what we preach because God used a real man. That's right. Huh? A real man. Amen. Hallelujah. God made us a real man. What real man going to sit under a man and act more feminine than his wife? Amen. What kind of members are you will sit under a preacher who act like he got more sugar than the woman? I, know. I don't care if you do call yourselves the churches of our Lord Jesus Christ. The devil went in that business years ago. Amen. The name don't make the church. Yeah. The doctrine will make the church. That's it. If they got the name and don't have the doctrine,
Christian is not the church. Not the church. Get this, you hard head preachers. Amen. Some call me a rebel. I take that. Yeah. I don't mind being called a rebel. Yeah. A rebel rouser. Amen. I want to rouse your attention here. Amen. Listen at this. But hath in due time. Fifth chapter and verse again. Still in Titus chapter one. I don't want people to forget where we are. Amen. All right. Still in Titus chapter one, and that now at verse three. What is it? But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, mm -hmm. which is committed unto me. All right. According to the commandment of God our Savior. Now listen at the apostle laying groundwork here. To Titus, mine own son, after the common faith. Somebody wrote me and said, "Why do you call Wills and brother Dan son? Son, because I begotten them by the gospel. That's yes, you right. did." I have That's a whole right. lot of sons. That's right. And a whole lot of daughters. Amen. That we begot through the gospel. That's right. Spiritual sons and spiritual daughters. That's right. All right. To Titus, my own son, after the Titus, common faith. Titus, my own son, after the common faith. Grace, grace, mercy, and peace. Mercy and peace. From God the Father. God the Father. And the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. All right. For this cause left I thee in Crete. All right. Preachers, would be jack legs. Amen. You wives, please contact your husband. Right. Amen. Now he may be trying to snore, but he here. Wake him up. Wake That's that right. devil you're sleeping with up. Amen. Wake him up. Amen. All you religions, I want you to pay attention to this and then compare it to how men are ordained in your organization. That's Let's right. compare. That's right. All right. For this cause left I thee in Crete. The apostle tell the bishop mm -hmm. what to do. He said, Left by thee in Crete. And what I want you to do there? That thou should have set in order Wait the thing. I'm going to leave you in Crete. What's the first thing to do? Set in order. That thou should have set in order. Set in order. The things that are wanting. Wait a minute. What the, what the people want, Bishop, mm -hmm. you set that in order. In order. If they want a fashion church, <laughs> a fashion show in church, set it in order. In order. No. Amen. That's right. The apostle, you see, these elders need an apostle. Yeah. Right. If not, you will have fashion shows and churches and all that's the raffle tickets and churches right. and all of that folly. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Selling tickets at the door to come in God's house. Right. If I ain't got a ticket, I can't come in God's house. Right. Folly. Folly. They have politicians in the pulpit. Right. Yeah. Amen. And Paul is instructing Titus, that thou who is a bishop, mm -hmm. who is an elder. Mm -hmm. And what did he tell him? That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. Some of you men getting up to declare yourself an elder because your wife want to be married to a preacher. <laughs> Some of you, your wives made you. You're so weak and so hell deserving. Your wife stayed in your ear. Honey, I had a dream about you. One of my old homemade tongues. Amen. I had a dream about, son, I had a dream about you. You were standing up in front of people. Maybe he didn't pay his taxes. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 Amen. Maybe he's in a soup line. A soup line. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Do you know how many men is in a pulpit because they wife dreamed them up there? That's right. Honey, I want, to, I want to be married to a preacher, a man of God. <laughs> if any of you rascals watching me now, and you know the reason why you're in the pulpit, because your wife hound you, you ain't nothing but a puppet for your wife. In fact, you a male hoe. That's right. And your wife is your female pimp. My Lord. Get me? Amen. I know you don't like this, but come on, preachers. You don't find me ducking. No. Listen at this. For this cause left thy in Crete. That goes for any men here. Yeah. If you're visiting here, Amen. and you're supposed to be a preacher because your wife requested, mm -hmm. then you are visiting Mel Ho. And oh, your Lord. wife is a present pimp right. of yours. Amen. I said it in order with the word of God. That's right. And if you get mad, that's proof. You're nothing but a hoe. My Lord. All right, Bishop Ho. Amen. Elder Ho. My Lord. No need for you to turn it off. If you're not guilty, leave it on. Leave it on. Come on, son. For this cause left I thee in Crete. For this cause left I thee in Crete. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanted. And do what? And ordain elders in every city. How? As I had appointed thee. Wait a minute. Who appointed Titus? The apostle. The apostle appointed Titus. That's right. An apostle of Jesus Christ. He ain't go run out and just 
oh, I'm, I'm an elder. No, no. This is what I mean by you just can't have the name of the church. You got to have the rules and regulations that govern the church. That's right. Go and catechize somebody out of a book. Ask them questions. A, a, a board of bishops. Asking someone questions. Uh, how many gods is it? <laughs> One. Okay, you got that right. What is the way to get baptized? In the name of Jesus. And they dumb enough. Got dumb that enough. right. How do you receive the Holy Ghost? Well, you, 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 you speak in tongue on your own first, and the Lord take it over. Dumb bishop. Got that right. That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you, the churches are in a mess. Amen. And they upset with us. That's why they call me an antichrist. Call me whatever you want. I'm going to hold the word of God in front of you until I die. That's right. Listen at this. And ordain elders in every city. What? As I had appointed thee. All right, bishop. Hey, bishop. Hmm. Who appointed you? Who appointed you? Who appointed you? If you tell me God did it, I contradict that. That's right. Every bishop who's not a God sent apostle, mm -hmm. who says God appointed him, who appointed Titus? As I had appointed thee. No, as God appointed him. As I had appointed as thee. As God appointed him. As I had appointed thee. God appointed Paul, and Paul appointed Titus. That's it. Now, that's order. That's order. God, the apostle, then the bishop. Right. God, the apostle, and then the bishop come about by the instructions and the laying on hands of the apostle. That's right. I know you don't like this, but that's the blueprint to the church. That's right. That's right. And God ain't going to change it. No. Here. Yeah. For this cause left I thee in Crete. What? That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. And what? And ordain elders in every city. And? As I had appointed that's thee. That's what they're telling me. You ought to go ordain elders in every city. I believe that. Mm -hmm. But as a rule, I got to go by before I touch you. That's right. Before I lay hands on you, there's a rule. I got to look you over, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter if your wife said, well, I think my husband is qualified. What do you got to do at the pulpit? Amen. That's the problem with you jack leg weak preachers. Right. Your wives got to say so how the pulpit should be ran. Right. That alone ought to tell you, you ain't fit to be a preacher. That's right. That's right. Amen. Listen. And ordain elders in every city what? as I had appointed thee. All right. Listen if, at the qualification. If, if any... Don't just take off and do it. If. If. I told you go in every city, but don't you just take off and do it right. and don't pay attention to the rest. That's right. All right? If any, be blameless. If any. That means he got to have a good report. That's right. Within and without. Yeah. If any, be blameless. Hmm? Can't be a thief. Mm. He steal money, he's blamed. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Can't have a girlfriend. Can I, if you got a girlfriend, I can't ordain you. Can't ordain you. You're blamed. Blamed. You can't be married and making babies outside of your marriage. No. You're blamed. Amen. If your first wife's still living and yet you done divorced her, you're blamed. Blamed. Can't ordain you. No. If you make a false claim when you file your taxes and calling your nephew and nieces your children. What? Blame. 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 Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah to God. This is written here. If any be blamed less. If you're smoking, blame. Drinking, blame. Go in the club, blame. blame. Partying, blame. If any be blameless. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with your television. Leave it alone. That's right. If any be blameless. If any be blameless. What else? The husband of one wife. All right. That don't mean, and I want to answer this question to an internet watcher. That don't mean that a man got to be married to be a preacher. Right. 
This is letting you know that if he is married, mm -hmm. how many wives he allowed to have. The husband of one wife. How many? One wife. How many? One wife. One. How many? One wife. You only can have one wife. One wife. And when you divorce her and get another one, you got a second wife. When you That's divorce right. her and get another one, you got a third wife. Yeah. You divorce her and get another one, you got a fourth wife. You know you can't be no bishop. No way. You can't be no elder. I can't ordain you. No, no. No. Ordained a man that done divorce and got a second wife. I can't ordain you. No way. You ain't fit to be no preacher. Amen. If you in the pulpit, you of the devil. That's right. How can you say you preaching an unadulterated gospel with a second wife? Your gospel is not unadulterated because you're living in adultery. Right. right. That's right. I know this is going to burn you up. Yeah. Go ahead and make your comments at this message now. Make them. <laughs> make them now. Amen. But when you're done, it won't change. No. Would be jack leg preachers. It won't change. Oh, no. All right. The husband of one wife. All right. Having faithful children, not accused of right or unruly. Now, as long as those children are under your roof, mm -hmm. You got to keep the law of God in front of them. Yeah. Faithful children. When Faith. they leave your roof, you ain't responsible. Right. That's why some of the men want their children to hurt and get out. <laughs> yeah. That's right. As long as you under that roof, Faithful. Faithful. you're responsible. Yeah. Right. When the children get to the point they don't want to follow the order of that roof, then it's best you get on your own. That's right. But as long as you're under that roof, you got to follow the word of God. That's right. Doesn't matter if the wife get mad. You got to follow it. Amen. Amen. No pants on your daughters. Mm -hmm. No earrings. Uh -huh. No finger rings. Right. No makeup. Uh -huh. No eyebrow arching. No mini skirts. Amen. Faithful children. When she when, when that daughter go out the house, she better have her head covered. Amen. Faithful children. Amen. 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 I said. Amen. No boyfriends, yeah. no girlfriends, yeah. you ain't married, no hugging, no kissing. Yeah. All under the bishop's house. That's right. That's right. What? Having faithful children. Faithful. Not accused of riot or unruly. They can't be loud like they're in the street. Yeah. Blasting music all in your house until the three blocks can hear it. My Lord. Children got to be faithful. Faithful. No cigarette sucking. No gambling. Yeah. No shooting pool. Amen. All in the bishop's house. That's it. Wife shouldn't have a closet with multicolor wigs. All in the bishop's house. Amen. 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 What kind of children? Having faithful children. Faithful. Not accused of right. Not accused of right. Or unruly. How must a bishop be? For a bishop must be blameless. He's right back at that again. Yeah, must be. How in the world are you going to ordain a man and he got someone in the congregation with three babies? Hmm. You can't do that. No, no. I don't care how low the membership get. You can't leave it to him to make more. No, sir. That's right. Yes. Amen. That's why you folk don't like this preaching. No. You are that's why a lot of you men, you, you right away, you, some of you preachers are so dumb and so ignorant and so hell deserving. <laughs> All a man got to do is a total stranger. Go in your church and during testimony service, give a loud testimony, quote a few scriptures, and some dumb bishop will come to a stranger. You got to call it. My Lord. Any of my brothers, even some who don't have the Holy Ghost, you can go to almost any church yeah. and get up testifying. Uh, do we got anyone who want to testify? Uh, uh, praise the Lord, everybody. My name is Brother Cunningham, and I, I just wanted to stop it here today. And he, when he get the head, oh, he getting it to you. 
I want to stop it here today. Just want to wish up with you. And I'm telling you, God is good all the time. Uh, let the church say amen. And when you get the church answering back, hey, amen. Oh, glory to God. You know, I'm so happy today. God is so good. And before you know it, he going to get invitations yes, he will. to preach. And if that rascal loves money, yeah. he's going to do it. Amen. He's behind in his bill, so he's going to go out there and make some money. That's right. Some fraud. Yeah. And many men is in a pulpit now because your bishop is blind. Amen. Amen. Lay hands on a man on a down low. Mm. Are you listening? Amen. And the people in the congregation know this man got spiritual sugar diabetes. That's right. Amen. Am I right? I said. Amen. And I'll dane him anyway. Dane him anyway. You people have listened. If I'm used to living in dirt, to me that's normal. That's right. And when someone is clean, I look at them as abnormal. That's right. When you in a dirty, filthy, no good, rotten religion made up of men. You be in it so long, that's normal to you. Right. And then when clean, hard, straight, God-given truth come, that's abnormal to you. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So you call me your enemy and call your false prophet your friend. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Wherein your false prophet, he's your enemy. Yeah. And God wants to be your friend. That's right. Keep these churches in the family. Any time you have a bishop about to die and on his way to hell, and you see him grooming his son, they keep the legacy. That's right. Want to keep that name going. Jones and Jennings and Williams and the McGillicuddies and the Cunninghams. And I, no, 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 no. No church should be named after no bishop. That's right. Williams Memorial Temple. Oh. You want to name a school after a man or a school after a woman, fine. That's not God's house. That's right. You can name a school after a man, a, a school after a woman if you like, a business after a man, a business after a woman. You can do that. Yeah. But God's house. God's if Jesus said upon this rock, I'll build my church. My church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Right. Then God's house, God's church, God's body has to take on his name. That's it. All right, Williams, what you have? For a bishop must be blameless. Must be blameless. As the steward of God. He got to be the steward of God. Not self-will. Wait a minute. Amen. 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 Not self-will. Not self-will. You going to ordain a self-willed man? Lord. You can't tell him nothing. Right. Tell him what the word of God said. He, he, he pout like a baby. <laughs> he want to rise up. And when the overseer is gone, he want to throw stones yeah. behind the overseer back from the pulpit provided to him by the overseer. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then when the overseer come around, eh, we, thank, we thank God for our leader. We thank God for the man of God. That's a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. Not self-will. Not self-will. When you self-will, you try to start a church within a church. That's right. You better give me the 20th, 20th chapter, chapter of Acts. Acts. I experienced that. Mm -hmm. I had little wood bees and jack legs Amen. following me. Well, they were, just, they were just hanging around the people. Yeah. Just hanging around. And uh, they would make little CDs of themselves. And at every convention, I found out later, they was trying to get people to pass Little CDs of themselves out. My Lord. Hmm? My Lord, my Lord. One false prophet went out and put a lie out and said, William's coming with him. Dan coming with him. My brother coming with him. Over half of the church is coming with him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Want to be something. My Lord. You see, when you in this, the only thing you want to be is saved. That's it. When you're in the right. That's it. You're not worrying about titles. You're not trying to make a name for yourself because it's hard enough just to be saved. That's right. 
That's right. God, I'm so glad that we got this thing right. That's wonderful. Listen at this. Acts chapter 20 and at verse 20. I want to teach the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to show you this. Amen. Acts chapter 20. And verse 28. All right. Take heed, therefore, Pay unto attention. yourselves. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. To yourselves. That's why when this word is preached, you better Take get heed. it in you. That's right. Oh, God, this scripture that he's reading here is a warning. That's right. To the church. That's right. It's a warning mm -hmm. to the church. Give chapter and verse again. I want everybody that's watching and listening to follow and watch little jack legs. Get over the internet. Oh, you ain't got to be ordained. I said, let them talk their foolish talk. Amen. But I want to show you this in the Bible. Acts chapter 20 and verse 28. Well, Take heed, therefore, unto yourself. Pay attention to yourself. And to all the flock. Wait a minute. Observe yourself, mm -hmm. and then observe the people. That's right. Don't observe the people first, then your people second. No. Look at yourself first. That's it. And then take heed to the people. That's right. Why? Over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseer. And what is the purpose of to being an overseer? To feed the church of God. No, to feed his pocket. Feed the church of God. To feed his pocket. Feed the church of God. Amen. That's right. You money-loving, worthless hypocrites. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. I remember some years ago in Newport News, we got through preaching one night, and the place was jam-packed. And there was a fella came up to me, and uh, Shade was standing next to me. You know, I usually sometimes stand down there and greet the guests who came for the first time. And this fellow was a member of the church, used to be, before he backslid uh, after believing a lie and blaspheming the Bible. Mm. He came and said, you know, Pastor Jennings, I want to do that preaching thing. I said, do that preaching thing. He said, I want to, you know, get up there and preach so I don't have to work. <laughs> he actually thought the ministers in the church didn't have jobs. My Lord. <laughs> we work. Work. <laughs> That's right. You know what I told him? I said, you forget the pulpit. You go get a job and go to work and job. take care of your family. Right. Huh? That's right. Ordaining him will be equal to ordaining Mo, Larry, and Curly rolled up in one. Amen. You can throw shrimp in there with it. Hallelujah. Any trash is being ordained today. Yeah. You people have been around trash so long. You have settled for this garbage from the pulpit to the door of your church. Amen. Amen. Stop settling for trash yeah. and pick up the word of God. That's it. What is that? Take heed unto yourselves. Take heed to yourselves. And to all the flock. And to all the flock wherein the Holy Ghost have made you overseers. overseers. To feed the church of God. Feed God's people. Which he hath purchased with his own blood. Uh -huh. For I know this. Listen, that the apostle. I know this after I leave. Shall grievous wolves enter in among you? Grievous, grievous. What wolves. did he? What did? What did he call the men? Grievous wolves. Grievous. A grievous wolf. Grievous wolves. Shall enter in among you, not sparing the flock. What happened to the people? Not sparing the flock. It makes me tremble. Yes, it, that's right. All this God-given labor by God's mercy, he's blessing us to do all around the world. It makes me tremble. Amen. That's right. Solomon said, who know the man that come after me, whether he be a wise man or a fool? Or fool. I'm a young man, yeah. but it still makes me tremble. That's right. Because I have experienced this scripture already. Amen. What is it? For I know this, that after my departure, after I leave, shall grievous wolves, 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 Shall do what? Enter in among you. They're right among the church. Not sparing the flock. And they won't spare you. Also. They, they try to creep in. Creep. That's right. I remember one little jack leg tried to creep divorce in first church. I told him I'll sit you down. You try to bring that stuff here. That's right. So he couldn't bring you here. So he ran out and started a club and called the church. My Lord. Huh? My Lord. Amen. When, when, listen, when you don't believe the Bible, you are going after anything. Yes, I'm mean. glad I'm settled yes. in what God brought. That's right. I'm settled in it. That's right. You can offer me all the money in the world. I'm not phased by a buck. That's wonderful, brother. Amen. Either you're anchored in God or you're not. Yeah. I'm not moved by money. Oh, no. I've been offered millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. 
It's somewhere, but it ain't in my pocket. Amen. I'd rather have God than all the money in the world. That's right. I said to myself that God is true. Amen. What is it? For I know this. I know after my departing. Shall grievous wolves enter in among when you? When a wolf come among the congregation, what he'll do to the people? Not sparing the flock. He won't spare you. Mm -hmm. He won't spare you. He'll try to dismantle every bit of truth you've been taught. That's true. Now, you viewers, 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 I want Bible Way Worldwide to get this. Mm -hmm. I want the so-called churches of the Lord Jesus Christ or by the Lord Jesus Christ, or through the Lord Jesus Christ, or under the Lord Jesus Christ, or around the Lord, whatever, <laughs> whatever word you got in there, you got in there, I want you to hear this. That's right. Look at the condition of your church now, and compare it to 40 years ago. Amen.